Sometime around middle school or high school, I began to realize I wasn't really attracted to girls mm -hmm. and, uh, and didn't really think much about it. And then, you know, college rolled around and I still wasn't attracted to girls. Mm -hmm. And then I had this experience where I like, I saw this guy at a church camp. I was like, I think I'm attracted to guys, but like uh, graduated college and was just sort of hit in the face the reality of like, Brad, I think you're gay. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I think that's what this is. My parents don't speak to me now because I'm gay and I'm in a relationship. What should I say when they approach me and say I can't be gay and a Christian and that the Bible I read is different than theirs? <sighs> How would that person handle that? In, in 60 seconds, <sighs> Brett. I am LGBT Christian here with a group of LGBT Christians. Uh, how do you walk your Christian walk and what do you think the best way we as gay Christians can be a beacon of hope? Whew. Um, I think being gay can be a fantastic advantage I have learned so much about um, grace and forgiveness. And I just pray that you would continue to use him, um, not just with um, the LGBT community, but God, that you would use him um, to create more allies for that community, that you would use him in the lives of parents who have kids who have come out. Um, but God, for every one of us that has a secret that we've never told anybody or something that, about ourselves that we feel like you can't accept, I just pray that you'll continue to use him in powerful ways to free prisoners because that's, um, that's your ministry.